Hey guys, in this quick video, we're going to look at creating an urban context. We're going to look at designing a city, an urban city with a bit of variation between the different types of buildings. This is not meant to be photorealistic, but it's a design that could be used either as a backdrop for architecture or for any kind of other feature buildings. It could further be textured. So we we'll start with creating a simple subdivision of a rectangle and pulling some vertices around. I'm subdividing it by two and then adding the subdiff modifier. The next step is to apply the subdiff modifier. So now we have some blocks in and I quickly check the areas and I start creating materials as well. The idea is that it sort of works to the proper scale that it should in regards to um, typical urban blocks. So here I offset six meters and I realized very quickly that this is not quite the right scale so I'm going to scale this building up by three so now if you offset six meters okay in relationship between streets and blocks this looks about the right scale so we start making different materials I use materials for selections so we have roads and then we have the sidewalks and I'm using the inset modifier to move everything to create smaller blocks and we inset again to create blocks. The first type of typology that we're going to do is courtyard buildings. Usually they're offset between 16 and 18 meters. And then there's a courtyard in the middle. So I select a block that I know kind of works. And then I go to select, select more, to select with area that's greater than that, to be able to select all the buildings with area that's more than the one that I selected create a new material for those plots then select them all and then we will inset them 16 meters and you see some of them don't quite work that's fine depending on what you're doing they could either be manually adjusted or go back a step and remove them from the initial selection so we move the really bad ones Okay, so next, select the other blocks that are left over. And these blocks, we're going to do a random selection in order to create more variety. Okay, so what I did is I hit everything except those, so then it's easier to kind of select everything. So first I went and select, select random. 50% with a seed and then I slightly modify maybe there's some that I want some that I don't there it is so now I'm creating green space so all these that are selected they're going to be green space so again I create a new material for right now the materials use simple viewport colors for me to understand which one is different so we have a park and then we have buildings then I realized maybe the parks are actually a little bit too much. So let's select some of the park plots and create a different type of building. So in the end, we're going to have three different typologies that we're going to work with. Okay, so here's sort of the flat plan that's set out with all the different materials and everything. It's ready to go and extrude with different varieties. I'm just renaming here the materials so they're a little bit easier to find and grouping all the building materials together. And next we'll separate all the object by materials. But before doing that, I want to make sure I add the depth typical for a street, which is 200 millimeters or so. So in edit mode, we go to separate and separate by material. Put them in a new collection. And now we have all the different materials types. So now we're adding height. With height, I'm using soft selection and just moving up the different parts. And once we have the soft selection set, I'm going to scale Z0 with individual origins enabled. And that scale them all along 
their respective z-axis to the connected points and then we extrude those down to make sure they hit the ground and I also I also put them a little bit under the ground as well um, in order to be able to pick the ground face separately or if we need to adjust the height next we go with the other typology uh, buildings different I subdivide the plots and then I do an edge split so each one of them is different do a soft selection as well with a bit of randomness I did I, I, one time I did soft selection now we're doing random so selecting them and then scaling Z0 to individual and then moving them all down or rather extruding them all down and then changing to middle medium point SZ0 again and now the bottoms are all aligned so continuing with the next typology we do the same I do a little subdivide this time I decide to inset slightly so we have f almost four buildings on a single plot so I'm going to inset a little bit more duplicate the selection so we have something on the ground that stays put and separate so now with all those elements again we'll do a soft selection so move some vertices up in different areas and I see on the bottom right hand side there's quite a few uh, plots that are left over so that's going to be kind of like the downtown with a lot of high-rise towers so I play a little bit more here with adjusting the heights and once we have the heights in the right place SZ0 with individual origins enable and then extrude and SZ0 with um, medium point enabled So we have the city, we have the green, we have the different typologies, courtyard buildings, towers, and a third typology. And some, as you can see, some of them are quite thin, you know, they would need to go and get adjusted. You know, we can either put a single building in there or do something different. So the last thing that I'm going to do is put roofs on the, all of those, or just a very subtle roof definition usually with flat roofs there's a ledge that goes a little bit higher and in here with these towers we'll deselect the ones that are not very useful for us maybe they'll get replaced later and do a similar thing and I'm always working with the inset operator it's probably the most important one it doesn't always work as you can see here um, yeah so there's always slight issues especially when some are too thin so extruding again and then with these ones we we'll inset twice so we have sort of step back levels that go up on top so we inset once and then inset again And that's it. Next, I'm actually going to adjust the materials. So first, I'll enable Sure UVW Map. There's a couple of different add-ons that you can enable it with. If you Google Sure UVW Map, it will come up. It basically is the easiest way to unwrap and making sure that all the scale is zero. Even though in here, I don't even need it because I'm not going to get to textures. This is simply a modeling exercise for now. And I'm just ever so slightly changing the textures around to get an even better feel for the model inside of the look dev mode. So they will have a slightly different materials. Next, I'll enable ambient occlusion for base color and put the color that we were using within the ambient occlusion node. I'm not even going to the node editor. I'm just clicking on the base color little circle and then selecting ambient occlusion to change all of them. And basically, this allows the a little bit of extra depth in the corners, a little bit like Arctic mode in Rhino, if you're familiar with that. 
So then we're just the settings in for EV, adding ambient occlusion to 60 meters, uh, adding a bit of bloom, and then adding the sun. So with the sun, I use uh, an add-on called Sun Position. It's very useful. It's one of the most useful add-ons. And we need to adjust a couple of things. So we need make need to make sure that for the sun, the max distance is significantly larger to meet 2,000 meters. So then we can turn down the strength and see what the effect that we're getting is from the sun, the strength of the HDRI. So I'm just playing here. I mean, this is not in a particular location, but it's just a quick way to get the sun to work with the angles. And then we can pop up the strength a little bit more of the HDRI and then also the sun. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Um, and I would like to pose a challenge for you. I'm going to post in the comment below a link to this file. And I would like to see whether somebody can actually take this to the next level.